Well, the astronauts and their colleagues were asleep, so they didn't notice what was happening. It was actually noticed by uh, people on the ground in Moscow and in Houston at control centres. Now they deemed it wasn't a big enough emergency to wake the guys up. They woke them up in the morning, not quite to say, Houston, we have a problem, but there was, yes, a small problem on board. Uh, they had to find the, the leak. They found a two millimetre uh, hole uh, that had been uh, allowing the air pressure to drop very slowly, uh, which in the long term can actually be quite dangerous. So they've plugged it up, as you've said, uh, with a little bit of a, a tape, a medical tape dripped in epoxy. The problem is it's bubbling now. So that means that it may or may not hold. They're monitoring the situation to see what's going to happen. Now, it's in a part of the aircraft, the Soyuz crew vehicle, which uh, they need, the upper part of the vehicle. They use this when they go to and from the space station. Now, they came in June. Three of these members are set to depart in December back to Earth. So they're going to have to figure out a way uh, to permanently fix this situation by that time so that they can actually get back uh, into our atmosphere.